the video clips I get for you guys. I just had somebody come up to me and be like, I just saw you taking a video. Are you sure you don't want me in the video? And it's like, okay. And now I'm soaking wet. Fun. And are those, <laughs> those look nice shoes, aren't they? Yeah. That's right. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that yes, I am the sidewalk supervisor, but I am good at it, okay? Just proved it wrong again. Okay. Uh, remember the tile that I did in the fireplace that we built? We have not been able to find a mantle anywhere until we went antique shopping and found this gorgeous double mantle made out of oak, historic in our own hometown. It just all kind of came together. So the only problem that we have is that the wall that we built is just not quite wide enough for the new mantle that we found. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to dismantle this new mantle to get it to work. So, fingers crossed that this works out. Yeah, so here we're dismantling a piece of history. Can't believe we're doing this. Don't worry, folks, we will repurpose the wood somewhere else, I'm sure. Um you pulling it away or something? Yeah, you're you're pulling away at the front here. Oh uh, you gotta go slow buddy. What? You gotta go slow. Okay, so of course my idea won because it was just a better idea. I decided that I thought it would be best to remove this side panel and then we have this little shelf here that we're, it's going to stick out from the wall a little bit, but I thought it would be kind of neat to have it be like build another shelf to be continuous to the wall. Kind of like right here, it's kind of a mess, but you see how the mantle is and then it goes down the side here, um, just kind of wraps around. So that's the plan. So far, so good. The side panels came off. So now, let's see how it mounts. So here's part one of the destruction. You gotta rip these down uh, so that it fits the space a little bit better. Then we gotta attach them to the wall. So uh, the Historical Society doesn't come after me too bad. As you can see, it's very important to wear eye protection and have some good gloves, especially on this older wood. It's always a good thing, too, to have your sidewalk supervisor, Miss Hannah, watch and approve everything that you do. I'm so good at my job, what can I say? Okay, so here's the plan. Um, he explained it to me that he is going to be um, just air nailing in the trim boards and then screwing them in so then it's a good foundation for the mantle to be secured to and then he's going to air nail the mantle into these boards so hopefully it works. So nothing is ever as easy as it seems. Uh, there is a gap where, like, the, it hits the transition strip, like where the posts are. I really do not want to touch the transition strip and trim that down. I think that would be a hot mess. And so now I think we're just gonna trim the little posts down a little bit. So hopefully that's enough to close up this gap.
Okay, so it's the next day and we are going to be working on this bench. It was original to the house, very, very old, very antique-like, and we need to put up like birch board under here just to kind of seal it all up and then rebuild the bench and this wall that was right here. Uh, I don't know that I have a picture of it, of how it looked before, but it was just starting to crumble and bow out. So you could tell that they overstuffed it or kids were playing in it or things like that and just push this wall out. So now we're going to try to rebuild it, reinforce it so that won't be a problem anymore. So we were able to find some white oak at a local lumber yard here uh, close by. Um, but we wanted to go with a little thicker board, so we ended up going with a five-quarter board, inch and a quarter thick, uh, so that when we add this groove, groove it'll actually still uh, keep the strength and stability, and hopefully it won't bow like this. The loose, I'll probably try to keep it right here, and then just go a little bit that way, maybe. And that's still going to leave you a, a good chunk out. So, what more question did you have for me? How many, how many panels? I, it doesn't really matter at the moment, but. There's three. How do you know? Because I remember there's four. He doesn't believe me. He said, let's go look. So let's go look. So those are going to be small panels. Oh, so, I'm sorry. How many panels are there? Four. I'm right. Again. You see the shock and awe on her face because for one time in her life she's finally right. I am always right. I am always right. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that yes, I am the sidewalk supervisor, but I am good at it, okay? Just proved him wrong. Again. <laughs> Okay, so Keith finished the bench and didn't really get any footage of it, so sorry guys. <laughs> but while he's finishing all of that, I am going to work on getting this tile done. Um, I just plan on using this gray tile to match the mosaic tile. I covered up the floor with this paper just to protect the mosaic tile that's there. Um, unfortunately, it is dark outside, but I don't want to wait. I just am not patient to wait till tomorrow, so here it goes. We're going to do this in the dark. All right, let's do this in the dark. Welcome to the Midwest, where 5 o'clock and it's already pitch black outside. <laughs> it's all right. We can do this. See? Plenty of light. We'll be fine.
Okay, so I went ahead and marked my center point here, but the issue that I'm having is that once I put this up and then have my other one on top, I have this thin strip up here and I felt like the best place for that thin strip of tile would probably, probably be at the top where you can't really see it as well. Um, it wouldn't be as obvious. And then if there's any small little strips, we'll just like when this is all laid out, it'll just be at the bottom and I don't think it'll be as noticeable. So let's go ahead and get started. Are those, sh <laughs> those look nice shoes, aren't they? Yeah. Oh man, that almost worked. It just has to be shaved off a little bit. It's gonna be kind of a bigger grout line. Don't really like that. I don't like it at all. That is way too big of a grout line. I think I just I gave too much of allowance on each side, so let's cut it again. Okay, so what is super duper fun is lining up this line to go all the way down to have the pattern look continuous on purpose, all the things. So I have trimmed this tile down numerous times, but finally I feel like I've got it to where it'll line up. Now, I feel like just this for these first two rows are gonna matter because the cool thing is I have space behind the fireplace to where I can kind of tuck these tiles in to keep my line straight. So now that I have this magic tile with figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut several of those to go down the line so it'll be a continuous pattern and look really nice and on purpose. Um, but man, this is taking a long time. Okay, so what also is super duper fun is that um, it's freezing outside and I'm getting soaking wet from this saw. So super fun going on here, but we are gonna get this done for sure. 